guys we are doing some AFC top hat modifications today it's kind of like a how-to video I'm just gonna I've seen other guys do it and apparently it does help so I'm gonna go I don't have a machining thing so all I'm gonna use is some safety glasses and a Dremel which should get the job done but pretty much what we're doing here is your adjusting so this screw which is called the smoke screw this adjusts your uh, no like no boost fuel I guess like how much your how much fuel your trucks getting whenever there's no boost so whenever it's just sitting there and if you grind this little lip down flush with the hole it allows for the fuel pin to travel up higher which some people say it can help uh, your turbo spool or something I don't know about that but I'm just trying to clear up some hazing at idle so I've seen I think Greg A he has done this to his first gen or well he did and he's P pump swapping it right now so it doesn't play into effect uh, there's another guy that did a really good job on his that I saw. But I was just going to show you guys how I'm going to do mine. I mean, that's pretty much just what I got in the shop. So we're going to be adjusting that. And I did a little, I don't know, you kind of see a little test spot where it's shiny. I just kind of tested it to make sure it was going to work. And all I'm using is a little grinding tip on a Dremel. I've got a full kit of Dremel stuff. It's like 12 bucks at Walmart. It, I mean, the stuff works. I use it to polish the holes on my wheels. That looks works really good. Way better than your hand. So uh, I'm going to set you guys up, and we're going to try this, and we're going to try and get it flush, and we'll see how it works. So I pretty much, really to get to here, most of you, if you guys are watching this, you know what to do. If Well, I have an automatic, so I have a kick down. Take the kick down off. Take the top hat off. Take your sideline right here off. This is uh, it's a 12 mil. And to I forgot to say to get your smoke screw out of the top, uh, which is this little lock nut. It is a 13. Yeah, I believe it's 13. Yeah, you guys can't see that. 13 mil six point and then I'm just using a Torx head for the other I mean that's how I got obviously got the star Torx out so I'm just gonna set you guys up here and we're gonna start grinding away and try and get this flush and then I will give you guys my opinion on it whether you should or sh should not do it if it's gonna get me more fuel pin travel I mean why not it can't hurt anything I've watched tons of videos on it so we're gonna give it a shot here so I'll put you guys up. I'm just gonna just gonna set you on something and hopefully it works. So stay tuned. Let's see what we can get done. What's up guys we are back that's about as good as I could get it it's not very pretty obviously I mean I don't have a milling machine to get it down perfect it's pretty well flush and the, the video it doesn't look that flush for some reason but I'm about I'm about even with the hole which is pretty much as far as you can go you can't go all the way to the bottom as far as I know so I got pretty much even with the hole it ate up a lot of these things. Again, that's probably not the best thing to use. If you've got other sources of doing it, then I would do it that way. I mean, this was just what I had in the shop. I just figured that's what I would use. 
So we're going to put the smoke screw back in, get everything where it needs to be. I'm going to see how much far or higher up it's the fuel pin's going to sit. And then we'll start it up and I guess see what it looks like. So we're going to get this all put back in real quick. Alright, there it is, it is flush, so now we're going to tighten the lock nut right there, down, which, flip it on here, alright, just like that, we have it reassembled, like you can see, my smoke screw, oh sorry guys, my smoke screw is all the way out because I'm not one of those douchebags. My pump is now turned up, which it's not turned up because I'm all about rolling coal. I, it's turned up so I can light my setup more efficiently. My foot is in it a shorter amount of time because the truck is turned up. It's getting more fuel. It really needed that fuel, to be honest. So that is my two cents on that. I, if you've got your smoke screw all the way down, I mean, obvious, it's for a reason, we already know. And, I don't know, this just seems like a better way to go about things, cleaner running truck. No, it's just, it's all about preference, really. So, I'm going to try and set you guys somewhere. Alright, that gives you a decent view. Alright, make sure we got everything. Alright, put your line in, or your, uh, gosh dang it, banjo bolt. Put the banjo bolt in. Get it, don't tighten it down all the way, obviously, just finger tight. And. On mine, you got to put this top one in first, top right in first. If it'll go in. Promising. All right, so we got the top one in there. Now for my kick down. Flathead. Just get him pretty tight. I don't, I'm not muscling them out or anything like that. Attach your kick down. All right, now. Tighten this down, banjo bolt, 
and it is a 12 mil. So we're gonna get over here on the other side, tighten it down. Again, not crazy tight on that. I mean, just use common sense. All right, we got the whole pump top assembled. We're gonna set our tools back over here on the bench. Um, uh oh, loud and proud uploaded a new video. All right. Throw my phone in there. I'm gonna shut this to where the hood stack. Uh, well, I gotta get a glove because I don't want my hand to get all black. Move this to where the. Where the hood stack is covering the exhaust. All right. So the exhaust will come out over through the stack instead of all over my hood like you can see that it did the other day. Right now, there's not a haze. Oh, turn down our radio. Right now there is not a haze. Usually the only bad haze is whenever it's in gear at idle, so we're gonna put it in reverse here. Looks like there's a slight haze, but not near as bad as it was. I'm pretty happy with that. Shut, shut her down. Pretty happy with how it worked out. Like I've said, I mean, just take all the advantages you can get. Really, with these pumps, you have to. We aren't. We don't have the fuel. I'm flowing. I can't remember what these pumps flow. Maybe like 280 cc's. So that's not very much fuel at all. We are very fuel limited. So take all the advantages you can get. If it's just little stuff like that, anything that has supposedly worked that might get you a little bit more travel, a little little cleaner burn, a uh, little better spool up, anything like that. So, I mean, just take what you can get. We, I'm not going to the dark side right now or probably anytime soon, but a P-pump is a great option. And the VEs, I know the Hungry Diesel just came out with a pump that uh, Eric has on his uh, Ram Charger that flows 320 cc's, which is impressive for sure. It'd be cool if somebody could make a 14 mil pump that would survive and not blow up, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. So for now, we, we've done about as much of the pump as we can. Uh, like I said, Governor's Spring, I've, I don't know if I know, have the know-how to do it, to be real honest. I'm, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it with, whenever there's somebody else with me, just in case. I forget a step or something. So we're probably gonna maybe clean up the bottom of our hood here since I spooled it up with the hood up once and it got it all black and it was all nice and clean. So we're probably gonna do that, but that's it for today. Just a little, not really, I don't know if you call it a how-to, but just one little thing I did to the top the top hat on the AFC. So I used a Dremel and just a little grinder deal. If you have milling stuff, I would use that. But that's all I got for today. Uh, pretty slow day. Don't have much to do. It's freaking hot. The weather report here is probably 100. It probably feels like 100 outside. I don't understand the whole feels like an actual temperature BS, but it feels hot. So if you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe, like, comment. If there's something I'm missing here, don't feel free. I mean, feel free to point it out. I'm learning just as much as you guys. So have a good day. Try and stay cool. Find some water. Whatever you can do. Do better than what I'm doing. All right, guys, we just left. Try to give you a little video.
video. It's obviously it's going to be hard to see with the GoPro. I I don't know. I'd like to get a nicer camera here one of these days. But as you can tell, I mean, it's better than it was. Like right now, it'd be hazing even more. I think it's got a light haze right now. No, oh, surely the throttle response has been better. I, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm thinking that, but no. Feels. Well, I don't know changed a whole lot, but it definitely helped the amount of no boost fuel for sure. Sorry about the rattle box here. Obviously, it's. Probably not gonna be very good sound quality in this thing, but it's just how it is. Might get on it a little bit right up here. I don't know. Throttle response seems really good. I was maybe quarter throttle in it. I mean, I was. It went from 40 to about 65 pretty quick but I don't know it's a little video food for thought obviously I'm not telling you guys to do anything or persuading you guys at all I just just did a little did a little thing figured I'd show you guys kind of what I did and how I did it but there we go there's our last clip I'm gonna go get some McDanks try and get some food I'm starving Thanks for stopping by, guys.